Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to cook tofu. Tofu is this. So, let's start. So I put three tablespoons of olive oil in the, the, the casserole. We're going to add our carrots, our onions and our celery. You have to cook these uh, until the um, the onion becomes transparent. So that proves that they're, they're cooked enough so we can add uh, the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we're frying the carrots with the celery and the onions. Like I said, we have to wait until the onions become uh, transparent. And then we'll add our garlic and our tofu. So we're cooking this. Tofu is a great, um, great ingredient to, uh, to use, to, to eat. You can add it in many, uh, many meals. Um, I buy the one that's um, extra firm and organic. Just be sure that it's the organic version because there's, um, there's some that are um, genetically modified because it's made out of soybean and soybean is one of the highest the genetically modified uh, foods. Therefore, uh, be sure to always buy it organic. So I buy it like this and I chop it into pieces. So now we're going to add our garlic. garlic we're combining all our wonderful flavors and we're going to add our tofu I recommend half a block of tofu or if you want the whole tofu it's fine with that so we add our tofu it's very easy to cut. You just uh, take a knife and you cut it into pieces. And then you just add it to your meal. So we mix it up a bit. And we cook these for about, sorry, five minutes. So now we're cooking our tofu with our vegetables for about five minutes. And then what we're gonna do is add two liters of vegetable broth or chicken broth, whichever you prefer, to your meal with uh, two potatoes cut into little pieces. Okay, so now we're gonna add our broth. And our potatoes. You mix it all together. And you let it, uh, let it cook for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be back to add the rest of the ingredients. So now this has been cooking for about 10 minutes and now we're going to add uh, 3 tablespoons of sprouted the uh, spelt flour. This is to give it a bit of consistency, so 3 tablespoons and it's going to absorb the juices. So it's sprouted spelt flour. As you can see it's already starting to absorb. You mix that really well. The point of doing this is that this mixture at the end will we'll put it into a pie and you'll cook it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Therefore, we don't need to have uh, any juice left or else it will leak from the, the pie. So we added that in there. Now we're going to add some corn
Mix that in. And a quarter cup of parsley. Doesn't that look delicious? So look at all the nice vibrant colors in this beautiful mixture. As you can see, all the juice is absorbed. So now our mixture is always ready. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper for flavor. Just a pinch. I'm gonna mix it again. And then we're gonna head over to our mixtures. We're gonna go add it to our pie. So here we have two pie shells. These are made out of brown rice. You can buy any from the, the supermarket. We're just gonna add our mixture inside. And then this is gonna go in the oven for 45 minutes to continue cooking. And that's it. You'll have a wonderful tofu pie with celery, carrot, onions, tofu, your protein of course, potatoes, parsley, and these are beautiful and nourishing ingredients for the body. So let's make the top of our pie. Just put the dough on the, on the counter with a little bit of flour. Not an expert, but it's just a concept. I'm sure there's other experts out there that can do better, but we're making the pie. So now we made our dough. Go put it on top. Just gonna mold it a bit. I put a lot of stuffing, so the pie is a bit thick, but it's worth it because you're gonna have bigger bites to chew on. So once you put the top of your pie, you have to do a couple of holes for the air to come out. Make it look like a real pie. And then you cook it in the oven for 45 minutes. So our pie is cooked. So just to correct before what I said, depending on what type of flour you choose for the pie, depends you can cook up to 45 minutes. So if you use spelt flour, for example, and you make your own dough, then it can take up to 45 minutes. But this one, it was brown rice, so it took about 20, 20, 22 minutes. So the pie is ready. I'm gonna give it a cut, a bit hot. Here we go, there you have it, beautiful pie, tofu pie with lots of veggies for your body to nourish. So this recipe was inspired by Dominique Dupuis. Um, she has a wonderful um, book that uh, has all vegetable based uh, recipes, it's a plant based uh, book. And uh, she cooks amazing meals and they're all really tasteful and I always get inspired by her recipes and I cook them. So today I wanted to show you one that is one of my favorites, the tofu vegetable pie. And uh, go check it out. I put the link on the bottom. Her name is Dominique Dupri from La Mondeau. So enjoy the meal, guys. You can pair this with uh, greens, a big salad. Eat your greens first and then your pie. So take care. Bye.